Hi, I've just got a small request. Um, if you like my videos, click the uh, thumbs up. I would really like to see a lot of those clicked on. I know a lot of you guys watch me and and uh, it would be a nice return. Um, if you're watching me for the first time, uh, click the subscribe the bu button and uh, the uh, little bell next to it and uh, then you'll get updates of uh, uh, my latest videos. I, I video everything I do when I sculpt and I've been doing this since 2008 so I got a lot of videos. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'd like to build my viewership and uh, the only way to do that is if you subscribe and click the little bell and uh, give me a thumbs up when you watch my videos if you if you like them also share my videos with people who who you think would be interested in sculpting all right let's get on with the sculpting all right i got uh, a replacement uh, arm this morning in the post office and uh, hands I'm going to keep the wire one that I made for this arm because it's already there. Um, I made the uh, war club a little longer. I made a stone head out of uh, monster clay. Mm -hmm. Just because it holds its shape better. Uh, I'm a little worried about the heat. If I transport this to the boundary, if that... Uh, Man, that monster clay starts softening up and dripping it's going to be I'm going to be really upset anyway I'm not going to put a lot of detail in this arm because it's going to be behind the shield but I'm going to still uh, sculpt the arm the problem with making the handle longer is you have a tendency to things that stick out too far and thin like this in bronze will bend because bronze is a soft metal and so I'm not going to make it any longer than that I'm positioning the uh, weapon this way because it looks good but also it won't bend as easily now this could bend at some point if somebody um, bangs it or something like that and it's it's just one of the hazards of a bronze um, things bend and you got to be prepared for that all right I'm going to start working on the legs and uh, I'm going to do this off camera a lot of it uh, because I cover this in uh, my instructional DVDs and uh, so and I, I hope you guys understand I would love to share it but you know, when people buy my instructional DVDs, I don't want to give away information they just paid good money for. So, I shall return. Okay, I got the upper part of the lake almost sketched in. I don't, I want, I don't want to get carried away with getting the leg too thick. Um, so I've got to, uh, be careful what I do here. It always looks strange at this stage of sculpting. here in a few minutes because I've got uh, 
some other things I gotta do today. But uh, I'm liking what it's look like, looking like. I'm gonna put leggings on him, and uh, I'm just trying to decide what kind, whether to do trade cloth or leather. I'll figure that out uh, over the weekend, do a little research, and uh, come back to it. I found out my belly button was off-center, <laughs> so I had to take my belly button off, and uh, I'll reattach it at some point, but it just was off-center. Boy, it is really hard to keep from going too muscular. I am not kidding you. Legs are always hard to do. What's funny is, is the muscles in the legs of a human match closely to the muscles in the uh, legs of a horse. Just a different configuration because of uh, the way the horse's legs are to the uh, ground. Well, I worked on it quite a bit longer to uh, get the legs where I like it, and uh, I got a lot, little more to do on those. And then I just quickly sketched out the uh, loincloth just to see how it would look and how much is going to be covered by the loincloth, so I know where to spend my time detailing. Um, that's not the loincloth that I'm going to put on it. That's just a quick run through the uh, pasta machine. Um, so next week I'll work on the uh, rest of the uh, legs and get them as close to being done as I can. And uh, then I'll work on the arms of the uh, warrior and the hands. All right, everybody have a great Sunday and I'll see you next week. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.